Welcome to another episode of How to Deadlift 700 Pounds. Come on, look it out! Ooh. This is pretty awkward. Right, before I start the video, quick explanation. Uh, you're probably wondering, what is happening? Why are you not eating food? Um, this is not a full day of eating, obviously. Ordinarily, this would be at this uh, time, but um, I normally film them at the weekend, and the weekend was really busy. I had loads of family down and stuff, plus I was freaking bummed out about missing the deadlift, and so um, I didn't do it. I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna freaking film a video. I'm gonna relax and not think about it, and that's what I did. So apologies, but I'll be back to my normal schedule as of next week, so Sunday I'll have a full day of eating up for you. So don't panic in the meantime. Just go back and watch some other ones. I've got freaking millions. There's no way you've seen every one of my full days of eating, so just go and watch some of those, because some of the old ones are pretty awkward but still good. Um, but yeah, uh, so this video, obviously this is how to deadlift 700 pounds. I'm gonna continue the series. Um, if you did not watch my deadlift, uh, 700 pound deadlift attempt from last week, then go and watch it, although I did just show you it about five seconds ago, so not really worth it. Um, to summarize, I didn't get it, uh, which is pretty freaking rubbish. Um, I uh, was pretty <coughs> bummed out, like I said a minute ago, I spent the week leading up to it, like, thinking about it loads. I was, like, convinced I was going to get it. I was freaking excited slash nervous for it. Um, and I didn't get it. Now, at the time, I was pretty pissed off, basically. Um, but, I mean, looking back at it, basically, it was a grip issue. Well, I thought it was a grip issue. So, um, when I, basically, the, the, the deadlift came up, it came up relatively quick for, for a PR attempt. And then about, I don't know, like a few inches from lockout, it was right on my fingertips, I couldn't hold it, and I, and I dropped the bar. Now, um, I assumed at the time it was a, like I said, it was a grip issue. I just thought, well, you know, the weight's heavy, I can't hold it. And I was thinking, this is a disaster because I've never had grip issues in the past. So, now I'm going to have to start like working on my grip. And, and I was kind of thinking, oh my God, now next time I go for a heavy single, I'm going to be panicking about whether I can hold the bar or not. But um, I watched the video a few more times, uh, did a bit of a nerd analysis. Um, in my room in the dark um, and I noticed that basically when I when I yank the bar at the bottom so you notice when I set up I kind of yank the bar before I start pulling and I do that to, that's my kind of cue to engage my hamstrings um, and when I did that um, my overhand grips in my left hand I think it kind of came loose so if you watch the, the, the pull the second I start pulling my overhand grip is already loose. Like literally, the bar leaves the floor and it's already halfway out of my hand. Obviously, I mean, my grip's pretty good, but there's no way I'm going to hold like 705 pounds in my freaking fingertips. That's obviously impossible. So, by the time I got to halfway, I was suddenly aware of the fact that it was not in my hand properly. And then I got near lockout and I couldn't, I was just, it was impossible to hold it in my hand. So, um, in hindsight, obviously, um, it's freaking annoying that I couldn't hold on to it. But actually, it's kind of, it's obviously a good thing because it means that it's not a grip issue. It was just the fact that I didn't set up properly. Um, and uh, to prove that to you, two, not, I, didn't, I didn't do this to prove it to you, but this is going to prove it to you, that two days later, um, even though I was meant to be starting a new training cycle, I thought, you know what, I'm really, I spent all weekend being annoyed about missing the deadlift, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try it again, knowing that I wasn't going to be fresh. So two days later, I went in and I tried it again. Um, I felt pretty good warming up. Uh, my penultimate single was pretty much as fast as it was before the, the PR attempt itself. Um, so... I, uh, all I did was made a deliberate effort. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make sure my overhand grip is ridiculously tight and really locked in on the bar. And I did that, um, and I still didn't get it. But, um, I mean, I held onto the bar for freaking ages. It came up, again, pretty similar to the last one, almost all the way up, and I was stuck at lockout. I just could not lock it out. And that was basically because I attempted that weight like 48 hours previously, obviously. To do you know that uh, a heavy single, you know, obviously a PR attempt, especially for a deadlift and at that weight, there's no way you're going to be able to do it again within a few days. It's, it's just unrealistic. So I kind of knew that in the back of my mind but because I was so annoyed. I really wanted to go and get it. But again, the plus side is that I was able to hold onto the bar for 
the whole attempt plus you know i was sitting at the top for ages trying to lock it out and it was in my hand the whole time and there was no slipping whatsoever so the positive is that i did not have any grip issues it was just a, a setup issue the first time round. the negatives are that it's freaking annoying because if the first time round, if i just focused on getting a good grip with my overhand i would have hung on to the bar and i would have locked it out i'm 99 percent sure about that so that's annoying, but it's kind of good to know I've got it there, and basically I'll just go into another training cycle now, and then come the end of the cycle when I test again, that 700 pound deadlift should be relatively comfortable in theory. Also, saying that, it wasn't actually 700 pounds, it was actually 705 pounds, which is 320 kilos, only because if I was to try and get 317 and a half kilos on the bar, which is 700 pounds exactly, it would mean putting little plates on, and basically I can't really fit them on the bar, uh, I need to figure out a way to get, there are some smaller 20 kilo plates, like really thin ones, but the guy that owns it is a bit funny about me using them, so I don't know, I've got to figure out a way, I mean, I, I could, I'm happy just to keep, keep jumping up in big increments, but obviously, uh, yeah, 705 pounds, if I'd done 700 pounds, maybe I would have got it, who knows, but anyway, it's done, it's done, um, like I said, the good thing is that I know it's there, I know I can hang on to it. Um, I just need to make sure that when I go for a PR in the future, I'm more thoughtful in terms of my setup. And that's something I want to talk about briefly, is that when you go for PRs, you need to make sure you are executing them in the same way you would uh, any training lift. Now, with a deadlift, it's particularly important that you have a little routine, a little setup. If you watch mine, I always do the same thing in terms of my approach and my breathing um, and my little, like I said, the little yank I do before I go for the pull. Uh, but it was just the case so I think I was a little bit maybe over exuberant when it came to the, the PR attempt. But it's really, really important that whatever you do in training, you do it consistently and then you, you, know, you keep doing it over and over again. You drill it in so it's super second nature. There's no kind of thought process involved. And that means that when it goes to a PR attempt, uh, obviously what I did is not going to happen to you. You're not going to make a silly mistake. Um, and you should, as long as the strength is there, you should get the lift because there is nothing more annoying. I can, I can tell you now there is nothing more annoying then knowing you have the strength to get a lift, but knowing that you did something stupid uh, technically in your setup to prevent you from getting it. So make sure you don't make the same mistake because it was annoying. Anyway, uh, moving forward, I am, like I said, into, I'm about to start a new training cycle now. Um, I'm probably gonna go six weeks, I think, probably, before I test again. Um, speaking of which, obviously when I tested my deadlift, I did test my squat and my bench press as well. They were okay. Uh, that video is going to go up uh, midweek, so look out for that. I'll just put it up as like a test week, just so you can see how my lifts are going in general, because I'm aware of the fact that I haven't really shown you much bench or squat for a little while, to be fair, so you can watch that. Um, and then, like I said, full day of eating, we'll be back on Sunday, and I am going to try, I'm putting it out there now, I am going to try and get back to three videos a week, because I know since Luke has been born, I haven't done that. I always did it in the past, so I'm going to make an effort to get back to three uploads a week. Um, yeah, and also, I can see a lot of you through the camera admiring this freaking sweet t-shirt. It's one of the new My Protein ones. They've got some awesome ones on the website, like a few new ones. Um, and they always have, like, they had a 30% sale the other day. They always have awesome sales. So use my link in the description. Um, and then feel free to use my code if you can't find a better one and go and get yourself some of these things because they're freaking sweet and they're all stripy. And let's face it, stripy things are the best. Um, like zebras and gates and prison clothing, really old fashioned prison clothing. Yeah. Anyway, um, that is that, guys. I'm going to end the video there. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you tomorrow.